Hello everyone. So we will be starting with a topic called as prostaglandins. These are said to be naturally occurring products with diverse biological activities. These have also been associated with various hormones so that they can be associated with them and do various biological activities. So what are these prostaglandins? These are said to be unsaturated hydroxylated fatty acids. That means these are also a part of fatty acid series. The parent compound of these prostaglandins is prostanoic acid. Basically, there is a presence of a carboxylic group, there is a presence of a long chain system and such a system can be called as prostanoic acid. So generally in these fatty acids, we can see that there is a presence of 20 carbon atoms. Now these 20 carbon atoms could be given numbering as follows. We have to start with carboxylic group that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. The numbers 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, they form a part of cyclopentane ring. So let us do it once again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. So totally there will be 20 carbon atoms present. So this would be the skeletal structure of a prostaglandin system. So when we speak about the other prostaglandins, they can be PGE1, PGF1. So what is the difference between this prostanoic acid and PGE1, PGF1? In the prostanoic acid, we saw that there is long chain fatty acid, presence of a carboxylic group. There was no other presence of any other functional group. Whereas now, in your PGE1 and PGF1, we can see that there is a presence of a carboxylic acid, there is a presence of a carbonyl carbon, presence of an OH, presence of a double bond, there is also a presence of an OH at position number 15, so on and so forth. We can also see that in PGF1, instead of the presence of a carbonyl group, at position number 9, there is an OH present. Also, we can see that there are other type of prostaglandins which can be PGE2, PGF2. So how are these structures classified would be dealt under classification and nomenclature. So presently we can see that all the prostanoic acid series in which there would be some other extra functional groups would be a part of prostaglandin systems in which they come as PGE1, PGF1, PGE2, PGF2, etc. So when we look at these prostaglandins, we already said that they are biologically important compounds and they form a part of various hormonal systems also. So firstly, these act as vasodepressor agents. That means they help in lowering of the blood pressure. They also act as stimulating factor of muscles. That means prostaglandins help in the relaxation and contraction of muscles. Biological activity can is actually associated with lipid soluble material which is having some acidic properties. So fatty acids because these are presence of a fatty acids given to us we can say that they are also lipid soluble and the properties of this particular system is because of the presence of that particular carboxylic group. So when we look at the importance or the biological importance we can see that there are two major systems that is PGE2 and PGF2. These two are said to be helpful in the medical termination of 
pregnancy that means we call it as an abortion that means unwanted pregnancies could actually be terminated by pge2 and pgf2 prostaglandins there is also a possibility that in pregnancy even after the completion of say 9 months there would not be any pain so this would be induced because of the usage of pge2 and pgf2 so both in termination as well as induction of the labor pains these prostaglandins have been utilized generally when pyrogens that means fever producing agents they help in promoting the synthesis of prostaglandins this would actually be synthesized in the hypothalamus of the brain that means the hind brain when the prostaglandins gets synthesized in the hind brain that is particularly pge2 there is a regulation of the body temperature so prostaglandins are also utilized for the regulation of the body temperature pge2 along with histamine and bradykinin cause pain that means they are also responsible for occurrence of the pain in the body PGE2 is also responsible for the migraine that means excessive production of your PGE2 causes migraine. So how can this pain be controlled? Once drugs like aspirin and non-steroidal drugs are given to the body that means there is a control in the production of PGE2 in turn there would be control of the fever and relieving of the pain. Prostaglandins are used in the treatment of various other systems also like for example gastric ulcers, hypertension, thrombosis and asthma. Coming to the classifications. Under classification prostaglandins can be seen that there is a presence of natural prostaglandins that means presence of only one double bond between position number 13 and 14. There can also be certain additional olefinic bonds between carbon number 5 and carbon number 6. There can be a third double bond which is located between carbon number 17 and 18. So these naturally occurring prostaglandins, they not only resemble prostanoic acid, apart from that there would be a presence of the extra double bonds.